a strong team, a top top team uh, needed to have a great character, great personality, to be strong mentally. And uh, because uh, during the game, and uh, you know that uh, the, uh, uh, you can have a period uh, that uh, you have to suffer uh, because your opponent uh, is pushing you uh, a lot. And I think uh, that uh, today the first half was uh, was difficult, but uh, uh, we knew this. We knew this because uh, when you play against Aston Villa away in, in this stadium. Uh, with this fantastic atmosphere, and uh, I don't think uh, there is one team that uh, come here and uh, win easy. And for this reason, uh, I appreciated a lot the, the effort of my, my players and uh, the composure, the uh, the desire, no, the desire to stay uh, to stay strong. And then uh, um, uh, in the second half. Uh, uh, I think we uh, we, w we won the game uh, in uh, in an important way, and uh, for sure we have to um, um, more good when there is this type of pressure, and uh, we have to continue to have the personality, you know, and uh, to try to to continue to play to play because every time uh, we play the uh, the ball and we get the chance to to score. And because for sure, uh, if you put a, if you have a, an opponent that put a high pressure, and uh, you are able and uh, you take the risk uh, to play, and then uh, you have the space to attack. I think that we have to try, try to to continue to to do this, to improve. In the second half, we were uh, uh, much better. I think also because the intensity of uh, Aston Villa uh, has dropped. And uh, this pressure was a bit uh, uh, um, slow than the first half, but a great, uh, a great win, a great win for us. And um, it wasn't easy, but at the same time, a great win, especially when uh, when you play a game uh, after uh, after games that played your. Uh, your rivals, no, in the race uh, in the Champions League, and uh, they lost to Wolverhampton and uh, Manchester United uh, and Arsenal. And West Ham has to play maybe tomorrow, no, maybe tomorrow. And uh, you get to to show in this moment that uh, you you start to feel the blood of your opponent, and uh, it's important this moment. Uh, uh, don't fail, don't fail, and uh, for this reason we are working a lot also under. Uh, the mentality, and um, the players are giving me great satisfaction uh, under many aspects. Were, were, you, were you angry with your team at half time? I mean, I mean, it could have been five one, couldn't it? No, but uh, I like I like I, li I like to see uh, my team uh, to to play in every moment, okay, and in every moment. And I think in the first half uh, we suffered a bit of this uh, this pressure. Uh, um, the intensity of, of the pressure, but uh, we we are working uh, uh, to uh, to try to um, to face this type of situation, to overcome this uh, situation in the best possible way. And uh, today we we did uh, we did this, uh, and uh, I repeat a great improvement of my team. And uh, the game uh, wasn't easy. wasn't easy because. Uh, we made the game easy then, but the game uh, wasn't easy. Antonio, that's eight goals in eight games for Sonny. How important is it that he keeps scoring if, if say, Harry doesn't score? We've got two players at the top level. Steven Gerrard said they were beaten by two world-class players. Yeah, but uh, first of all, uh, the most important thing is to win. I stop. Who scores is not important for me. And... Uh, for sure, we are we are uh, we are scoring a lot of goals because uh, there is a great link, a great connection uh, between uh, these three players, and uh, in front. But don't forget, uh, behind them, we have two good players, uh, um, Lucas and uh, and Steven Berwin. But uh, uh, it's the whole team that uh, is working very well because uh, 
Uh, we are creating uh, the chances with the whole team. We are working a lot on the tactical aspect for sure to have uh, more time, to have more days to work, to prepare the game. Six, six days or seven days uh, for me was, uh, was really, really important because uh, don't forget I arrived uh, in Tottenham in November. When you arrive uh, during the season, uh, you have to bring your idea of football, but at the same time, you have to play for three points and then uh, give the rest, the players, uh, don't push the, the players uh, a lot because uh, they have to play a lot of dif difficulty. Now to have six, seven days uh, to prepare uh, our game uh, is very important. Is uh, um, Yeah, this is the, the big difference than the past. Antonio, um, Arsenal obviously lost today. Were you able to use that But for sure, and uh, Arsenal, uh, I said I said this uh, before, no, that Arsenal, uh, United, uh, and then Wolverhampton and West Ham are with us in the same race for a place in Champions League. And uh, to know that uh, your opponent uh, uh, lost their games, and for sure they have to, uh, to give you uh, the right... Uh, the right um, uh, decide, no? the right will uh, to get three points. Uh, because uh, in one end, uh, you know that, uh, okay, our rivals lost the game if we lose, but we are uh, uh, always at the fourth place. A little medium team can think also this. A top team, a strong team, think that uh, is the right moment to improve um, the distance of your rivals and to exploit this, uh, this situation. Uh, we did this despite the, the difficulty of the game eh? because, I repeat, uh, we didn't play with uh, uh, a team not good. We played against Aston Villa in this uh, stadium that is not easy for, uh, uh, for no one uh, to, to, to win here. But I'm at, uh, I hope uh, nothing of serious. I hope, and uh, for sure, and the doctors are going to check him uh, tomorrow. Um, I hope not, nothing of serious because uh, uh, he wanted no, to try to continue to play, but then at the end uh, he preferred to, to go out. Uh, I hope so because now Matt, Matthew uh, it's an important player for us, and uh, I hope this injury is not uh, is not serious. Spurs have been criticised a lot for not being strong enough mentally. I think when you came after the Murray defeat, you said you said things to that effect. How satisfying is it to see now that kind of mental strength come here, to have a really tough first half, and still come out and win the game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, to see this uh, this type of improvement make me. Uh, proud, no? Uh, give me great satisfaction. Uh, at the same time, um, I know very well that we have to continue to to work under this aspect. Uh, and the same players uh, knows very well that they have to continue for this type of improvement because there is not only a tactical, or te technical, or physical aspect during the game. Uh, there is the mentality, and the mentality in. Uh, they know that uh, we have a lot of space for improvement. But today, and uh, they showed me <laughs> that uh, they decided no, to improve also in this aspect. Uh, don't forget that in the past, uh, there was a game that I was very upset, made me very angry. Yeah, but uh, we have, uh, with the players, we have uh, uh, an honest uh, relationship. They know that uh, uh, I like I like to uh, to tell them everything the truth and not a good lie because I want to improve I want to improve my players. Uh, I think there is a good connection, a good relationship with uh, with me and the players because the players trust me, but especially me and the staff 
Uh, we trusted a lot to them. And uh, now we have to continue in this way. And uh, um, rest, but at the same time, we have to prepare the game against Brighton. Brighton won against Arsenal. It's a really good team. And uh, if you win here and then you don't win Saturday, uh, you cancel no, a bit uh, the positive uh, thing that uh, you did. And uh, for this reason, uh, we rest one day, the rest, and then our focus has to be for the next game. Okay. We need to leave there, I'm afraid. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat>